Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. It's your girl, Evolving Goddess. First of all, thank you and welcome to my channel. While you're here, you guys, please like and subscribe. Um, but honestly, thank you so much for taking the time to view my channel. Thank you for checking me out. Thank you for rocking with me, y'all. Um, I do want to say come follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, Evolving Goddess. 444, okay? Um, I put daily reads up there, motivation, um, pick a card, things like that. So you're welcome to come follow your girl. I follow back, y'all. <laughs> um, we are here to do our love reading. So it's the month of love, right? This is for our Taurus team, February 1st to February 13th. The intention is set, guys, that you are able to walk away with something resonating for you in this reading. Now keep in mind, these are general readings, okay? There are lots of energies out there. Um, everything may not hit home for you, and that's quite okay. So if it doesn't, um, don't force it. Let it go. Whether it's good or bad, just don't force it, okay? It just means that the reading isn't for you, and it means that there's somebody else out there that needs to hear the reading. All right. <clears throat> Y'all know I shuffle off camera, but I always hit you guys up with a little pre-shuffle so that you guys... Uh, feel comfortable. I know y'all like to see that. Now, I, when I was shuffling, um, you deserve love popped out, but when I was shuffling, the word petty came to mind, so we'll see how that plays out, but I don't know if um, there are some kind of petty arguments or something that's stopping a relationship, something petty stopping the relationship from moving forward. I don't know. We'll see. Pay attention to the red flags. The sign, the signs are cautioning you. Also, want us to flip out. So we'll see. We'll see what we have. Um, spirit, please give us two cards, please, for our Taurus. Our Taurus in love from February first to February thirteenth. What is it that you guys need to know about your love life? All right, y'all. Let's rock with it. Okay. All right, so the bottom of the deck, um, finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life, but we're going to take jumpers for these readings, right? So whatever jumps out is what we're going to take, and those are going to be the overall themes, overall messages for the Taurus team. All right, good. Honeymoon. Honeymoon popped out. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Y'all, that's Valentine's. Forgiving and learning also popped out. Beginning and learning popped out. It like flew out. So honeymoon. This is Valentine's Day, guys. So go retreat. Spend some time with Boo. Forgive. Forgive and release the past, right? So that could be that pettiness that we were talking about. Um, Something maybe happened in the past that was petty. That maybe you can't get over. Um, Couple of things now. This says unrequited love. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relation relationship going. So there could be a couple of messages, um, especially with the other card flipping out, saying pay attention to the red flags. So maybe you could be in between. Look, I was just about to say you could be in between a relationship where you maybe have left one relationship for another. The Eight of Cups talks about leaving something, leaving something behind for or emotional fulfillment and the tower card. So universe came in, shook some things up, right? So let's see what we have. All right, Spirit. And as always, too, I, I did do a pre-shuffle off camera with this deck as well. But Spirit, what do we have, please, for our Taurus? Our Taurus team in love from February 1st to February 13th. What do they need to know about their love life? Please give me three cards to help me interpret this reading, please. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, so the bottom of this deck was the Eight of um, the eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles could talk about somebody working really hard, work, 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 right? And that could be a factor in a relationship. <clears throat> Seven, <clears throat> sorry, Seven of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. So Seven of Pentacles talks about kind of analyzing, like, you know, I put in the work. Am I going to receive the return? Um, is it worth my investment? Is it coming back? Am I going to receive my harvest? Right? Just kind of analyzing from here. Is it something that you want to move forward with? Okay. 
because underneath that we have the sun card and underneath that guys we have the nine of cups so um <clears throat> i would definitely say that there you might have had to leave something you might have had to leave something behind or you might have had to start over um maybe had to leave Maybe you had to leave old characteristics. Um, if this is the same relationship, I feel like there's definitely been like a new start to it, right? So maybe you were waiting for somebody to change. And the sun card says, yes, they are changing. And yes, your wishes are coming true. Um, but it could also mean that if you're single, right, that you have forgave the person, you've learned from your mistakes, and you're going on a honeymoon by yourself because there's not a lot of love there. Right? Maybe you waited for this person long enough. You grew, you glowed up, and it's like, you know what? I'm worth my own, I'm worth my own love, I'm worth my own honeymoon, right, because there wasn't enough chemistry, so a couple of different messages, um, but we'll see, we'll see what the cards say, and we'll go ahead and relay those messages, five of swords, uh, five of swords is the ego card, so that is, you know, knowing when to walk away, <clears throat> knowing when to count your losses, and um, knowing when to walk away for the benefit of your own good, right? So not staying, not staying in something just for ego, but actually knowing when to walk away, right? And that really speaks to that Eight of Cups because in that Eight of Cups that came out earlier, um, you know, leaving, leaving something, leaving something for something greater, and that's what the Five of that's what the Five of Swords talks about. So this is a win and a loss card. So you will win something. But you will lose something. So in the process, you know, you're going to, your heart's going to be broken, right? But in the future, it's going to have a better outcome. Right? So the Two of Swords. So Two of Swords talks about being stuck, unable to make a decision, unable to move forward. Um, yeah, I, I I, 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 so this is really speaking, like learning, learning and forgiving, um, letting your ego die, letting your ego die, but still using discernment, right? Because whatever the case is, maybe something that you have been waiting for, right? You've been waiting for something. You've been waiting for something, and I feel like I feel like maybe maybe it's either maybe it's here, and you don't know how to proceed forward because of the heartbreak in the past, and um, there's a need to forgive and learn, right, so that there can be a new start, right, so that there can be a new start. Um, for a lot of other people, though, this is definitely whatever it is that you've been waiting for. It's about a matter of kind of counting your losses and moving forward so that you're not stuck, right? Because you could be blocking your harvest from coming in. You could be having a new start coming because this boat, like this boat, this boat is sailing. It's, or like it's roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream, right? So maybe it could be coming towards you, but because you are waiting on a situation that is done, you're waiting for it to come back, right? You, you could be blocking your blessings, basically. You could be blocking your blessings. Um, there's a need maybe to forgive and learn. Forgive yourself, right? Forgive others that hurt you because you, you definitely want to always do that because that will have you stuck. Um, leaving yourself angry because of somebody else that has done something to you is never a good thing. That will definitely have you stuck and have you waiting, right? So let's see. The world card cycle has completed. So whether this is <laughs> this relationship, guys, I'm, you know, I hate to, I hate to break it to you, but whatever this relationship is, if it, if it was bad for you, you guys walk away, walk away because the cycle is completed. Don't stay stuck. Don't stay waiting for somebody to come back to you. Um, forgive them, learn your lessons and move forward move forward because this cycle is closing. Like when I talked about blocking your blessings, you could be blocking a blessing from coming in. There's a new cycle that's trying to start for you, right? And it's going to bring happiness and bliss and enjoyment, but you have to let the old close out. So definitely, you know, taking the ego card, right? Knowing when to surrender, knowing when to walk away. 
Now it could be, that could be for one scenario. The other scenario could be, you know, a relationship that, um, it could be like a rebirth, a rebirth of a relationship. So maybe the ending of a cycle of difficult, difficult times, um, where the relationship was just stagnant, wasn't going anywhere. Right. Cause a lot of this energy is like waiting, stuck, not moving. Right. Forgiving and learning. That's, that's kind of like a, it's kind of like a learning, a learning period. It's like a rough patch, right? When you're kind of going through that period and forgiving and learning each other and trying to learn how to trust one another again. Um, so it could also be the ending to those difficult times for some of those, right? Because there wasn't enough attraction to kind of stay in that type of energy. But nonetheless, I am definitely showing that there is something that is trying to close out to welcome in the new. Okay. Um, so by clarifying the five of swords is the king of swords and the king of swords is somebody who is straightforward right you know he's an authoritative person he's very analytical he's very logical um he looks at things for what they are he's very intuitive right because he has been um he's taken risks that have paid off for him that <clears throat> have helped him trust what he's feeling in the inside Right. So if your intuition is talking to you and you're waiting for the opposite of what your intuition is saying, listen to what your intuition is saying. OK, the king of swords is definitely also somebody who is very authoritative. You know, he doesn't really show a lot of emotion. Right. So he doesn't show a lot of emotion. Um, and I, but I, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm feeling like there's a need to kind of embody his energy. Right, embody his energy and like take control. Yeah, take control, especially with the stagnation here. I feel like in the waiting, I feel like there's a need to kind of take control, see things clearly, and take control of your life. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords clarifies the two of uh, the two of Swords. So Ace of Swords talks about a new perspective seeing things from a new light, just as I was stating, right? A lot of swords energy here. So it's a lot of mental thinking, a lot of mental um, going on, right? Where you're just kind of maybe in your head a lot, thinking about what it is that you should do. Um, so with mental, it, it works really good with action, you guys. So you want to make sure that whatever those thoughts that you're thinking, that you are putting those thoughts into action, the Ace of Swords, it, there is a heart here. So it could be a new a new clarity about a relationship. It could be a new clarity if this is a rebirth for you guys, seeing things from a different perspective, um, and that closes out the cycle and brings in the new cycle with you and this individual to allow you guys to go towards smoother waters, right? To allow you guys to have that honeymoon, to allow you guys to forgive and learn, relearn each other. But if that's not the scenario, then it's definitely a wake up call for you guys to kind of wake up, wake up and look at the perspective for what it is. Let the cycle close out so that you can allow that new opportunity to come in that's waiting for you. The world card is clarified by the six of wands. So this is the victory card. So after this cycle completes, guys, there is something waiting for you. There's something waiting for you on the other end that's going to bring you happiness. It's going to bring you victory. It's going to bring you celebration. It's going to bring you forward movement into happiness, okay? Um, but, yeah, overall, I'm just feeling like there is whatever it is that you're waiting for, um, really looking at it, looking at it for what it is, you know, knowing when to walk away, knowing when to stay um, knowing what it is that you want and forgiving, forgiveness is key, forgiving yourself, forgiving others. Do not stay stuck in that energy. The fives always talk about changing um, changes. So the five of swords is a, a need to change, a need to change your perspective and actually see things clearly, which the ace of swords, so that you cannot be stuck, right? Because ultimately, we want to close out the things that aren't working for us. We want to welcome in the new things that are going to bring us happiness. And this is something that you are waiting on. Either you're waiting on somebody to return and you need to kind of see it clearly, unfortunately, and move forward, fall in love with self. Um, or um, this cycle, this bad cycle with this relationship that you maybe have already been invested in is ending and you're able to start brand new. But nonetheless, you guys, once you guys close out whatever is not working for you guys, something new is trying to come in. 
So trust yourself, trust your intuition, and really try to go with the flow. Know that any type of pain is never in vain. There's always victory at the other end of the side, okay? Um, so that's what I have for you guys. Please don't stay stuck in a situation that you're not happy with. Um, walk away from that. There's always something more fulfilling, okay? Because our heart's desires are to be happy. So if you're not happy, y'all walk. Learn, know when to cut your losses, okay? It's all good. Something better will come along, I promise. So, you guys, and it's trying to come along. It's trying to come along. Your wishes, your ultimate fulfillment, um, ultimate fulfillment is trying to get to you. So, whatever is not working, let that go. Let it go, y'all. And as always, talk to your girl. I talk back. Peace out, y'all.